Interesting title on this article, um, Heavier But Healthier, Diabetes and Smoking Cessation and um, Risk Associated with Diabetes, Cardiovascular Risk, Risk of Death. This is in the New England Journal of Medicine, August uh, 16th, uh, 2018. It's an editorial covering two other articles. The other article is uh, Smoking Cessation Weight and weight changes, type 2 diabetes and mortality. Um, the second one is risk factors, mortality. It's managing the ABCs um, of diabetes. And the fact that if you manage your diabetes, you can decrease your risk to that of somebody that doesn't have it. Now, <clears throat> this is on page 684. Let's go over there and cover that uh, quickly. Heavier but healthier. So first thing, um, smoking has decreased. We're down to 13.9% now. That's a, a, a an all-time recent low for smoking. Um, you still see it in vulnerable populations. Um, there are 37 million smokers now. That's 37 million too many. We do have, what, what about obesity? Obviously that's gone sky sky high overweight and obesity 40 percent two out of five people and with that the obesity you've got an increase of diabetes up to 28 million people now um the so the, it goes in to talk about that first article um the research on what happens what happens if i stop smoking i'll gain weight right and that first article is really clear. Yes, you do tend to gain weight. Uh, 10 pounds, maybe up to 30 pounds. My father stopped smoking. I believe he was in his late 40s, early 50s, and he gained about 30 pounds. Uh, you do, do tend to peak at year five after, uh, after smoking cessation, then you start to drop off again. My dad didn't. Um, the increased incidence of diabetes, increased risk for diabetes, peaks with your weight at five years. But here's an interesting thing. Your diabetes in, uh, risk increases, your weight increases, but your cardiovascular disease risk plummets. So, again, you may be getting heavier, but you're clearly getting healthier when you stop smoking. They, I brought up a good point that the uh, decrease in risk did not seem to correlate with cardi uh, cardiovascular. Uh, did not the decrease in cardiovascular risk did not seem to correlate with the amount of weight loss. Well, that was curious to him. It's not that curious to me because, as I've covered in multiple other videos, uh, cardiovascular risk is not so much driven exactly by weight. It's driven by um, inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation. And nicotine and other components of cigarette smoke are major drivers of cardiovascular inflammation. So again, you get the uh, smoking off the table, the weight is an issue, the diabetes is an issue, but not nearly like the inflammation caused by smoking. So um, <clears throat> The uh, smoking uh, peaks, I mean, the weight gain after smoking cessation peaks at about five years, and the risk of uh, diabetes peaks with it. Uh, actually, after about 30 years of smoking cessation, your risk is no greater than uh, someone who never smoked. Now, <clears throat> a quick reminder about, um, uh, about cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Cardiovascular disease is what kills you with diabetes, not the sugar itself. And um, so here's the next question. How about managing the different components of uh, diabetes, what's called the ABCs? Uh, they did a study in Sweden. They looked at a quarter of a million people with diabetes. They looked at their uh, five risk factors, five that they considered major, um, ABCs. Um, A1C, <clears throat> blood pressure, uh, they considered cholesterol as important. I don't consider it. I mean, it's important, but it's not. I, I don't know if I would list it as top five. 
Anyway, that's the research. That's not not my opinion right now. Um, <clears throat> what's the fourth one? The by far the biggest one. A B C S smoking. Smoking was twice as big as anything else. Um, <clears throat> and another A, albuminuria. What's albuminuria? Albumin is the number one protein in your blood. If you have diabetes, it can injure the filters in your kidney. There's a thing for that. Um, if you look, if you talk to your insurance uh, company, the health insurers will adjust your insurance rates based on whether or not you're ta if you have diabetes, based on whether or not you're taking an ACE inhibitor. Ramipril is an ACE inhibitor. <coughs> it makes you cough. So people keep bugging me. Uh, viewers keep saying, "Quit! You, you cough too much." I understand. You know what? Here's why: I'm managing my diabetes risk. Now, <clears throat> to go back to this, um, they managed their diabetes risk back to zero. No increased risk from diabetes by managing those five things. Again, A1C, blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, smoking, and did I mention smoking, 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 and... Um, Albuminuria. Ramapril, thank you very much for your interest.